Welcome back to another spooky episode on Asian Horror Tales. The story that I bring you today happened a few years ago to one of my close friends at university. Justin was one of my close friends during our university days. It was the last day of our semester exam and we would be on a semester break for three months. Justin just couldn't wait to get home. It had been four months since he went home and he really missed seeing his parents and enjoying his favorite dishes prepared by his mom. My exams had concluded a day before but I stayed back and waited for Justin so that we could travel back together. As he got into my car, he was buzzing with excitement and he was just glad to be heading home. Justin is a very active person. Even in university, he often associates himself with sports and heads to the gym frequently just to stay in shape. Just a few days since returning home, Justin decided to start doing some light exercises to keep himself fit. So he decided to go on night jogs at one of the trails nearby his home. Justin has been jogging on this trail for many years now, even when he used to come back during previous semester breaks. But it was normally during the evenings. However, since the weather was too hot during this time of the year, he decided that the best time for his jogging would be at night. His mom, on the other hand, was not very fond of that idea. Even though the trail is used by many people during the day, she told him that she has heard several rumors regarding the trail and some weird occurrences that take place after sunset. She just did not agree to Justin going on night jogs. But Justin was a hard-headed person and he was having none of the hocus-pocus crap from his mom. Justin reached the trail at around 9pm and started some stretching and warm-ups prior to his job. To his surprise, the trail was deserted. There was not even a single soul at that time of the hour. But he didn't really care. In fact, he was glad that he could jog in peace without bumping into anyone. However, in his hurry, he forgot his earphones at home, a tad disappointed because he could not enjoy his favorite music while jogging. As Justin started his jog, he enjoyed the quiet serenity and calmness along the trail. A couple of minutes in, he started to hear some rustling sounds among the bushes along the trail. It might be some rodents or small animals, he thought himself, brushing the noises aside and just focusing on the trail. Then, in the corner of his eyes, he thought he saw a white figure standing in the darkness behind a tall tree watching him. Just my imagination, he thought to himself. A couple of strides along the trail and again he saw a white figure standing in the darkness behind some trees. It was as if it was watching him. At this moment, Justin knew he was not imagining anything. Something was clearly not right. He stopped in his tracks. He could feel his legs trembling. He looked among the trees again. However, the white figure was no longer there. He looked around while chanting prayers in his heart. Nothing. There was nothing. Just emptiness around him. As he started to walk, 
he felt a cold brush of wind, as if someone was behind him. Justin turned around and saw a figure slowly approaching him. As the figure came closer, oh, just how glad Justin felt. Just a few meters behind him was Mr. Yusuf. Mr. Yusuf lived in the same neighborhood as Justin. He was a joyful personality and most importantly, he too was a sports enthusiast just like Justin himself. Even during his previous jogging sessions in the evening, Justin had regularly bumped into Mr. Yusuf and they would jog together while sharing their fondness and stories on football and latest happenings in the sporting world. As Mr. Yusuf approached Justin, he gave Justin a huge smile and he too stopped to catch his breath. Justin decided not to tell Mr. Yusuf about what he saw near the trees or even about the rustling sounds he had heard from the bushes. Deep down, he was just glad there was someone else there to keep him company. As they continued jogging, Justin and Mr. Yusuf were talking on and off about their favorite football teams and other latest happenings. Justin was quite amazed by the stamina that Mr. Yusuf had. He's probably one of the few people Justin knew who had still good stamina and kept themselves active even at the age of 65. They stopped for some breathers at times and they continued along the trail for a couple more times until Justin realized it was getting late and he should probably call it a day. He told Mr. Yusuf that it was getting late and that he should be heading back. Mr. Yusuf agreed and he too decided to head home. He walked Justin home and told Justin to send his regards to Justin's parents. And with a huge fatherly smile on his face, he continued his jogging. The next day, while Justin and his parents were in the living room, Justin told them about the weird noises that he had heard near the bushes along the trail and the white figure standing near the trees. His mom was clearly disturbed by his admission and she was furious that he did not heed her advice and still went out that late at night. Calm down, mom, said Justin, as he went on about how lucky he was that Mr. Yusuf was also there, jogging at that time, and kept him company as well as bringing him home. Both his parents were clearly shocked. Justin could see it on their faces. It was as if they had seen a ghost. His parents glanced at each other in a worrying look as Justin completed his story. Which Mr. Yusuf are you referring to? His father asked. Mr. Yusuf, who owns the bicycle shop and lives near the field, said Justin. My God, his mother said as she put her hand to her mouth, clearly shocked at what she had just heard. The Mr. Yusuf, whom you are mentioning, who owns the bicycle shop, who lives near the field, he passed away two weeks ago, Justin, his dad said. How could you have seen him? How could you have chatted with him and joked with him last night? Justin could not believe what he had just heard. As cold sweat rolled down his forehead, his mother took out an old newspaper which showed the obituary column and they were right. Mr. Yusuf had indeed passed away two weeks ago. Justin was shocked. There were many unanswered questions running in his mind. Who was that man he saw the previous night? Who was it jogging alongside him last night? By this time, 
the three of them started to believe that Mr. Yusuf came to keep Justin company and keep him safe from harm. Justin just closed his eyes and in his heart, he thanked Mr. Yusuf wholeheartedly for keeping him safe that night. Justin never went on any more night jogs after that and he joined a gym instead. He also started to heed the advices of his parents and never took anything for granted. When I saw Justin again in university, once our semester had restarted, he related this incident to me. This unexpected encounter changed something in Justin. He started to believe that there is more to this world than meets the eye. That there are other forces and other beings that share this realm with us. And that is a fact that should be respected.